Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to add new cash flow elements under Enterprise Planning Budgeting Cloud Service in Financial Module. So there are multiple ways of adding new cash flow elements. I'll show you a method of adding multiple members called bulk data member loading and I also show you how to add one or two member in case you need to add few member quickly. So as always we start with login to your cloud instance and you can go to application configuration select the financial module over here and there you find an option called cash flow account so under component you need to select adjustment to operating asset and liabilities during configuration of financial module I had chosen indirect cash flow you can cross check it under enable features you see I had chosen cash flow statement indirect Therefore, I have only these options available. So go to cash flow account and you can add more members. In case you need to add one or two member, you can click on action, add, and you can select some member from your uh, morning star site. I've taken sample cash flow statement from PepsiCo. I'm going to take member from operating activities as you know cash flow consists of operating financial and investment activities so i'll take uh, one member from operating activity you find the cash flow hierarchy the one which is given in pepsico is very similar to the cash flow available over here like uh, inventory account payable account receivable these member you can find over here as well account payable account receivable and all so copy and paste member from there and I can add the respective member define time balance properties data storage properties and and once you're done with this you can click on save so as you always um, as you modify your application structure you need to refresh your database the same we need to do it over here you refresh your database and once database refresh is done you can actually check the newly created member will be available under your cash flow hierarchy in addition to this you can see this under various forms including your direct cash flow input so let's wait for this to be completed So refresh is done we can check the newly created member under our account hierarchy so go to navigator select dimension you can limit this list to your cube OEP FS and there either you can search it or you can directly look it under your cash flow under operating activities so this is a newly created member added under your cash flow operating activities so this is how you can add one or two member in addition to this you can also check this member will be visible under your various data forms under financials you can check cash flow and direct entry There you can see change in non cash flow items, the one which we just now added. So this is how you can add members in cash flow. In addition to this, in case you need to add multiple members, adding one by one may not be feasible and time taken process. We can use an alternate way of exporting this 
into XML, make changes into Excel and import back. So go back to configure. This works well for bulk metadata loading, cash flow account, and you can export from here. This gets exported to Excel. And as you see, there's a defined structure. You need to define your member name, alias name, and various other properties, time balance, two pass, data storage property, and so on. So all the member you wanted to add, put it over here. I'm going to add a couple of more members like other working capital and income tax payable and accept um, alias rest all the properties I'm going to copy paste. Because these are going to be same data storage property to pass calculation you can change the property as per your need time balance property this is exactly same for other two accounts with this assumption i make the changes and i'm going to save this excel and i'm going to import it back import point to your excel file and you can see the other two member also added other working capital and income tax payable click on save and once again you need to refresh your database so refresh your database and then you can see these two members are available in your account hierarchy under operating cash flow. So once database refresh is done, you can go to your navigator dimension, check your cash flow hierarchy, limit it to OEP FSQ. And there you can check the member would be visible over here under your cash flow from operating activities and operating asset and liabilities. These two members we added through Excel. In addition to this, you can see newly created member under your forms, either under direct input, under financials, cash flow, or cash flow structure direct input under cash flow statement and these are the member we added we can also see under driver base cash flow statement so that's it this is how you can modify your cash flow hierarchy and add more elements should you have any question please feel free to write to us thank you